Ducati once again pushes the boundaries of adventure biking with the introduction of the Desert X Rally, a high-performance iteration of the already impressive Desert X. This road-ready machine takes inspiration from its predecessor but amps up the adventure with enhanced features geared towards serious racing. The rally boasts beefed-up KYB suspension with extended travel, making it a force to be reckoned with on any terrain. Its design cues lean more towards enduro, evident in the elevated front fender, while its rugged appearance, including paintless, mass-colored plastics and a forged carbon skid plate, signifies its durability and ability to withstand rough conditions. Powered by the reliable 937 cubic centimeters Testistretta 11 degrees L-twin engine, the rally delivers an exhilarating 110 horsepower at 9,250 RPM and 68 pound FT of torque at 6,500 RPM. Equipped with Ducati's DQS Quickshifter as standard, maintenance intervals are set at every two years or 15,000 kilometers, 9,321 miles. With valve clearance checks recommended at 30,000 kilometers, 18,641 miles. In terms of electronics, the Rally offers a plethora of options, including six riding modes derived from four power modes, various levels of engine braking, traction control settings, cornering ABS, and switchable wheelie control, providing riders with ample customization to suit their preferences and riding style. I hadn't been on a Desert X for half a year, but during our expedition through the rugged landscapes of Morocco, the new Rally model immediately felt like an old friend. Its user-friendly controls and array of modes and rider assist were right at my fingertips. Maneuvering through the bustling streets of Marrakesh, I switched to urban mode, then transitioned to sport mode as we hit the smooth asphalt out of town. When we ventured onto dusty trails, I seamlessly switched to enduro mode, and as things heated up, I engaged the full power rally mode. All this, accomplished effortlessly and without losing sight of the road ahead. Adapting to changing conditions is a breeze for the rally rider. With a quick throttle closure and mode selection, the bike's behavior adjusts to suit the terrain and circumstances. It's an intuitive process, facilitated by a clear dashboard display that communicates each change effectively. The six available riding modes cater to various scenarios, sport, maximum power, touring 95 horsepower with a smoother delivery, and urban, 75 horsepower. Wet mode enhances electronic aids intervention, while the two off-road modes provide 75 brake horsepower and a responsive throttle, enduro, or full power with minimal interference from ABS and traction control, and no wheelie control, rally. The system operates seamlessly, almost like an additional set of hands. On rough terrain, switching to rally mode effortlessly enables stand-up wheelies, while reverting to enduro mode offers reduced power and increased support from traction control and other assists, ideal for navigating tricky sandy patches. Every component in the drivetrain, from throttle to gearbox, operates flawlessly. A delightful spread of torque seamlessly integrates with the smoothest up and down quick shifters, delivering power with precision. It transitions from refined and cooperative to delivering a formidable surge in an instant. Engage the throttle assertively in second gear with DWC disabled, and the front will eagerly ascend towards the sky. However, the true standout of the rally lies not in its engine, but in its chassis, showcasing the excellence of KYB suspension units. The front features a closed cartridge 48mm fork, boasting 9.8 inches 250mm of travel, an improvement over the Desert X's 46mm fork with 9.1 inches of travel, and slightly lighter springs. Billet aluminum triple clamps provide 1mm additional offset. At the rear, a fully adjustable KYB shock includes a remote spring preload adjuster. Stroke increases from 8.7 inches 230 millimeters, on the standard X to 9.5 inches 240 millimeters, while ground clearance rises by 1.2 inches to a total of 11. Seat height elevates by 1.3 inches to a commanding 35.8 inches, making it the loftiest seat among current production bikes. This considerable height might deter some shorter riders from the rally. Yet, for those seeking a bike that performs like a champion off-road, these dimensions are essential. Moreover, standing under 5 feet, 7 inches tall myself, the lofty seat height isn't as daunting as anticipated, primarily because both the seat and bike are narrow. This allows me to securely plant one foot while stretching to access the back brake or gear selector with the other. However, I did encounter some difficulty in deploying the side stand while mounted, even taller riders faced a similar challenge. 
On paper, it's also a reasonably heavy bike with a 465 pound wet weight. No fuel, but doesn't feel it, even when fully fueled. What it does feel like, though, is sensational. Simply, the Rally is one of the best adventure bikes ever ridden off-road. Some 90% of our ride was on dirt ranging from fast open dunes and desert to slow and rocky sections, and the KYB suspension was faultless throughout. It is so controlled it behaves as if on a paved road rather than churning dirt. Like the proverbial swan that's so graceful on the surface but working frantically underwater, the KYB units take everything you can throw at them and more. Deliberately provoking the rally by slamming the throttle shut over humps to agitate the rebound, hitting rocks while on the brakes, and even deliberately landing badly off jumps, the bike soaked it all up. The rally makes fast, fun dirt riding effortless. It gives you time to skin ahead while feeding back everything needed to know about grip levels. It then responds to input smoothly, driving impeccably through power sapping sand. It makes the rider look, feel, and ride so much better. At 80 miles per hour on a loose surface that would normally be a tense affair on an ADV, you can enjoy the ride. The 21-inch front and 18-inch rear wheels feature hubs machined from solid aluminum, carbon steel spokes, and Excel rims, with the rear rim half an inch narrower to optimize off-road grip. Tube Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires are standard, while Brembo M50 monoblock calipers and 320mm discs do the work up front and are supported by a Brembo twin-piston caliper and 265mm disc at the rear, with cornering ABS controlled by a Bosch IMU. Comfort remains largely untested as standing up on the new pegs for the majority of the ride was required, spending little time on the new seat. The new pegs are worth a mention, though, as they are wide, solid, and very grippy even in the wet. The gear shifter and brake pedal are both machined from solid alloy and adjustable to suit off-road or on-road use. With the rear brake pedal flipped over into its off-road position, it allows you to use the back brake with rare finesse, even in off-road boots. The Desert X Rally is priced at just under $23,000 above the standard Desert X, $17,995. It is however equipped with high-end components, so while the asking price is high, it's easy to see where the money has been spent. The portrait-oriented 5-inch dash is, for example, pure class and has both connectivity and two display modes, standard and rally, both of which are clear and easy to read. A utility bar for extra mountings like a GPS unit sits above the clocks and is a nice touch. Our test bike was, wisely, fitted with full external steel engine covers and the radiator guard from Ducati's accessory catalog. Importantly for those who plan to ride their rallies as intended, a couple of days in the desert, with dust and rocks being thrown in all directions, left Cycle World's test machine still looking like new. With no obvious sign of wear from enduro boots covered in grit rubbing against the bodywork. Even the carbon fiber sump guard appeared unblemished. Greetings success for us all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.